So what's going on boys and ghouls? In my last video I did an unboxing and if you watched it I promised I'd do a little physical media collection showcase of what? Of that clown whose future is so bright he has to wear shades. Let's get into my Art the Clown slash Terrifier collection. What are we waiting on? Let's go. <laughs> If you're going to put that in your mouth, you got to pay for it. So what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Water Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeff Man 316. That's me on the sign. Yeah, Jeff Man 316 Live is where we come together Sunday nights at 10 p.m. usually. Watch a movie. Bullshit. Pop, talk about pop culture. Talk about physical media. We just watched Terrifier, the short film, followed by Terrifier, the first movie. And then I thought I would do some Terrifier content, including maybe my review of Terrifier 3 later this week. But yeah, we're going to talk about Art the Clown and Terrifier in physical media form. And I know I don't have the most extensive library of Art the Clown or Terrifier movies, but um, I've got some pretty decent ones and some stuff you might not have seen. And I thought I'd showcase it. One of them is this Blu-ray here. We'll get into that later. But yeah, our old body Art is right up there in all of his glory. But we're down here and we're talking Terrifier. So, sporting the shirt. Um, let's go ahead and let's see. Uh, let's dig into this and see where did Art the Clown start? Well, he started here, well, technically in some short films on YouTube that got noticed that Damien, Damien Leone had created the Ninth Circle, and then he also created Terrifier. And those two shorts, I guess, got noticed, and a producer wanted him to come and produce an anthology movie where he put those in, created one extra short that was just for the film, created a wraparound story, and that became All Hallows Eve. And so the main two shorts that he created that were on YouTube that I had seen before this made up this. So All Hallows Eve, and then I remember buying this DVD, and the carpet does match the drapes. I remember buying this DVD at Walmart, of all places, 10 bucks. It's, it's worn, it's seen a lot of uh, action back in the day. I used to watch this DVD a lot. There's the, um, the back cover, and there's a different person playing art. I think his name is, um, don't quote me on this, I'll get Mike Gian, Gianelli. Yeah, so I like that artwork though. That's kind of cool. Art looks pretty similar and he does similar art things. Now, so after watching that and really enjoying it, I went out and I found this one later. It was All Hallows Eve 2. Now, the bad thing about it is this doesn't feature Art the Clown at all. And I was very disgusted with it. It really isn't that good of an anthology movie. But, you know, hey, I'm a completist, so I wanted All the Hallows Eve, All Hallows Eve 2. I think they're they're going to milk this thing, and there's, a, there's at least two other ones coming out with the same name. But I liked All Hallows Eve so much, I went out and found, I wanted it on Blu-ray, because I wanted a better copy of it. And I found this. So I got the Halloween double feature of All Hallows Eve, in Mischief Night. Now, Mischief, Mischief Night has nothing to do with All Hallows Eve, and this has basically the same artwork there that was on the DVD. Now, it doesn't list any special features, so I don't think there are any on there. But either way, but at least it was a widescreen version of the movie. So, with that being said, later down the line, I saw that a release of All Hallows Eve on its own single disc. So I ended up picking up this bad boy. But the only bad thing about it is this one is manufactured on demand. There's the disc artwork. And you can see it's burned. You can see that layer that's burned there. There you go. You see it? It still played fine. But this actually has some special features. At least it's got audio commentary with writer-director. Damien Leone and actor Mike Gianelli. So that's kind of cool. And I haven't listened to that in a long time. So I know the movie wasn't that great, but I went ahead, like I said, kind of a completist. And I actually ended up buying All Hallows Eve 2 on Blu-ray as well. 
they, even though that's not part of the deal, I'll show it to you real quick. It's got a Blu-ray, it's got a DVD. The Blu-ray is manufactured on demand. The DVD is the same one that was in the set. So with that being said, you know, All Hallows Eve started it all. And then obviously Terrifier, the movie, came afterwards. So I picked up some versions of uh, Terrifier. And so uh, the first one that I ended up getting was this, this Blu-ray right here. And so there is the up close. I love that artwork on that. And here's the back. And this Blu-ray has a director's commentary with Art the Clown, behind-the-scenes featurette, interviews with Jenna Cannell, deleted scenes, Art the Clown, time-lapse makeup, stills, trailers, and more. So um, that's the official Blu-ray of Terrifier. And I'll show you the inside artwork. There's the disc. It's got a Blu-ray and a DVD. But the artwork on it is reversible, and it's kind of cool. I don't, all right, I don't think that it's got nudity on it because where it should be nudity, they cover it up. But here's the, the artwork that's inside. So there's the main artwork. So, like I said, the girl, you know, in the movie that gets cut in, in half, so to speak, uh, they've got clothes on her in that photo. She didn't have any clothes on once he, uh, once he uh, pulled off the, I don't know what he, what he called it, pulled off the sheet or whatever he had covering her up. So that's kind of cool. So let me put this back. So shortly thereafter, I discovered that there was a steel book. And since I collect steel books, I went ahead and picked up the Terrifier steel book. I think this might be kind of hard to find now. And why is it focusing on that stuff? There you go. And once again, they cover up the girl on the back. And the inside, there's a poster. Uh, I'm not really going to, I don't think I'm going to open the poster. Um, well, actually, I'll show you. It's basically the front cover. I don't want to tear it. So it came with that poster. There's artwork on the inside. I'll take out the Blu-ray and the DVD. It's just the blood splatter one's the same one I showed you. One side has got the corn, and one side's got his shoes. So, either way. So we had Terrifier on Steelbook. So what's next? Well, I've got a couple other things related to Terrifier, but we're going to kind of go in the order that I purchased these. So... Uh, we've got Terrifier 2, and I ended up in a Walmart somewhere that had the DVD um, on sale or clearance or something, because I remember getting it really cheap. I guess, you know, once they were trying to get rid of them, it, it wasn't, uh, DVD didn't sell as well, I'm, I'm assuming. So there's the DVD. It's got the basic cover artwork, and the carpet does match the drapes there. So I went ahead and got that. It's never been opened. It's sealed. But then the Blu-rays, there's multiple versions of it. So this was the, I think, the wide release slipcover version. And I really like that artwork. It's got, it's the same artwork that was on that styling box that I opened. So it's got art there. And it's got Lauren Levera there. And then the back is the same artwork that's on all the home media releases, I think. But the carpet doesn't match the drapes because it's got the um, artwork that's on the same as the DVD. So I thought that was kind of cool. This you get behind the scenes of Terrifier 2, an extended Boo Crew interview, director's commentary, and fan art. So there's multiple versions of, of Terrifier 2. I ended up getting the Best Buy exclusive 4K that's got the split between Lauren Lavera and Art. So Sienna and Art, I love that cover. But the back is exactly the same as the Blu-ray. And it's got the same special features listed. And they've got the original artwork there on the, um, the front. So I love it when they do different artwork on the slip. So then there was a, I'm pretty sure this was a Walmart exclusive steel book. That's got the, the standard poster artwork on it. 
art with the glasses on the back. Um, inside, it's only got a Blu-ray, which is pretty standard, just the blue prints. I mean, the purple prints. And then it's got the Clown Cafe with the people on, person on fire and Sienna in the water tank. So, that's kind of cool. And then, speaking of, this was what I was talking about in one of my videos. When do you double dip? I love Terrifier, so I'm double dipping on it. Uh, the 4K Steelbook. Now, I don't know. Was this an Amazon exclusive? I can't remember. But the cover artwork is amazing. Look at that shit there. It's got everything. It's got Jonathan. It's got Pale Girl. It's got Sienna. It's got art. It's got Clown Cafe. Multiple versions of art. And, and a heart. And then it's got art in his all his sadistic glory on the back. The, the light purple is the 4K. The dark purple is the Blu-ray. The inside has the pale girl on one side and Sienna on the other. So I think I thought they did a good job where, I mean, it's almost like if you really want to double dip on this stuff, you can because there's so many different variations. Uh, Terrifier 4, there was four different ones that had four different covers. The slip covers were different on the Blu-rays. The Blu-ray steelbook didn't match the 4K steelbook. So the marketing was pretty smart on that. Um, anybody like me, you know, that collects all this stuff. So that's not all. So that's kind of like your standard releases of things. So to go back to All Hallows Eve, there was somebody in one of the horror Facebook groups back when the first Terrifier came out on home video that was making custom VHS tapes. And he made this one that's, a double feature of All Hallows Eve and Terrifier. And so the front cover, it's one of the fat clamshell style cases. It's got All Hallows Eve with like in a marquee. It's got the original post artwork with the credits. And then the back has got Terrifier with the original post artwork and credits. And then it's got artwork on the tape. And this is a legit VHS copy of All Hallows Eve and Terrifier. And I have watched it. And I've only watched it the one time. I'm not going to probably watch it again because I don't want a chance to show in the tape. But I thought that was an awesome collectible. I have no clue how much. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Couldn't have been any more than 25 or 30 bucks. I wouldn't have paid much more than that. But speaking of VHS... Back in the day, um, I don't remember when this came out. I remember I ended up making a deal with somebody on a Facebook group where I bought a big Terrifier collection. And it was a lot of stuff. I unboxed it on this channel. I'll put a link to that video uh, above. And then I'll put it at the end where I unboxed it. It was an autograph. It was multiple figures. It was all kinds of collectibles. And one of the sets that was in it was the... Um, Umbrella Entertainment, this is art set in this cool hard collector's case. This is art collection. You get the bloody trilogy of art and more. So the first disc has got All Hallows Eve on it. And it's got um, the Terrifier movie. And then it's got all the special features that was on the normal Terrifier disc. Then you get Terrifier 2 on Blu-ray. And it's got the basically the same features. This was 1,500 copies of this. This is number 1134 of 1,500. Um, it also came with a 48-page Perfect Bound book that's got an exclusive interview with Damien Leone, Leone. It's got a set of 18 lobby cards. I'm pretty sure it came with those glasses there. That's not the ones from Spirit Halloween. Those are the ones from Spirit Halloween right there. Um, it also came, I'm pretty sure, with a little action figure. Uh, everything, I've got everything, but I did open this. Um, and then it also came with a VHS copy of Terrifier. I think this may be PAL. I have not played this. I don't want to. It is, says PAL. Um, I don't want to chance, you know, screwing up the tape. So there's the front artwork. There's the back. And then it's blood splattered. Even on the spot. 
So I thought that was cool. Now I'll go ahead and show you the contents of this. I'm not going to go through everything because watch that unboxing video and you'll see it. But you get the Terrifier Blu-ray that also in includes All Hallows Eve. Now, even though the back of this is going to say it's Region B, is everything else I've bought from Umbrella, it's not. Uh, this got the standard artwork on All Hallows, on All Hallows Eve, on Terrifier 2. And then it's got all of these art cards. I mean, it's a ton of them. I'm not going to go through all those. I do go through all these in my um, unboxing video because it's even got some from all hallows eve like this one and then it's got the book this is art so really nice set i know it's very expensive now um i think i probably didn't even pay any more than what you probably have to pay for the what i paid for everything including the autographs the figures everything it's probably uh, less than what you'd have to pay for this set now because of how uh, hard to find it is and how rare. So um, that's one of my the nicest pieces in my collection. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's the set that came with that VHS. Um, I've got my set on display um, behind glass with all the little figures and stuff. So that's what that is. And then obviously you can get Terrifier 2 on VHS from uh, the bloody disgusting display in Walmart. So it's the screen box release of Terrifier 2 on VHS. It's a double VHS set that's got the movie on two VHS. It's broken amongst two videos of VHS tapes. It's got an intro with Damien Leone. It's got a Terrifier 2 convention featurette. It's got the art crispy scratch and sniff sticker inside. And then it's a code in there for a 30 day free trial of uh, screen box and so that's the mainstream stuff that i got now there's tons of releases of terrifier that you can get from overseas and i usually don't get into a lot of that stuff but there were two for some reason after seeing what they look like that i just could not pass up i've got these german media books one of each film now i know there's probably at least four different covers of terrifier too I don't know how many different covers there are of Terrifier. This is the one I picked. It's kind of bloody, but it's artwork. It's a, car it's a cartoon. It's not the real movie shot. And I don't think it shows nudity. So I'm just going to show you. Now, this is a big, giant, padded. Um, I don't know if I can get it. To... There you go. This is padded, like really thick, soft padded um, of the first movie. And there's the cover artwork, Terrifier. It shows him cutting her in half. It's Here's the back. It's in German. It says uncut. Now, one of the things I love about it is the artwork. This is the DVD. Of Look how the DVD artwork continues the photo that's in the background. So when you take this off, You see how that photo's there where the DVD completes it when you put that back on the tray. So you don't lose the artwork. And the same thing is done on the back. I'm not going to take it off, but they do it with art. And then there's some really good photos in here. Now, it's in German. You could take a photo of it and get it to translate it. But um, it even goes into All Hallows' Eve. So this was a German media book. I got it from Orbit DVD back in the day. Uh, I don't even remember how much I paid for it. But when I got that, I decided I was going to get at least one of the German media books that's the same design that I was going to get for Terrifier 2. Now, I don't know. This one's got cartoon nudity on it, so I'm going to put my finger over it. But it's the infamous scene from the bedroom um, when he attacks the girl. There's her scalp. It's got the pale girl on there as well. It's got her. It's got Terrifier too. Um, yeah, I didn't want to show the nudity. The back. It's in German. This is one of those, like I said, thick, padded media books. 
and they do the exact same thing. Look at this awesome artwork for art there. And that is the Blu-ray. Now that's the 4K. So this is a 4K set. And then here's the Blu-ray and they do the back with Sienna. And the disc wasn't lined up, so I lined it up. So I just thought that was cool. Now, I, it's been a while since I flipped through this. Um, they got some cool artwork, like of the Pale Girl. Um, pretty disgusting, bloody photo of Art the Clown. So that's all in German. But those are two pretty unique pieces uh, from Terrifier that I like. So... I just wanted to showcase that. I think I, I think that's all of the Art the Clown slash Terrifier home video releases I've got. If there's anything else, um, it's not stored with these. These are all on one shelf together. So hopefully you liked that. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff. I really appreciate you guys checking out the video. And then, like I said, I want to review Terrifier 3, and I'll probably do that sometime this week. And I got a couple other things I want to um, post related to the movie. So... Um, after you do all that normal YouTube stuff, if you are a subscriber, make sure you hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos. So I really appreciate your support. All of my socials and everything is listed down below. So you can support me that way as well. And until next time, boys and girls, this has been Jeffman316. I'm your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there. Nothing. I just, I'm just